Michael McNaught is the founder and CEO of RVZ. RVZ. And you know what? He went into the Dragon's Den. Yes, he did. And and he's here today to tell us about his business model. Thank you so much for doing this. Thank you for having I me. I am a huge fan of the show. Um, what were you thinking? Uh, you, you know what? It, it, it's pretty nerve-wracking. Um, but you know, the, the reason we went to Dragon's Den and kind of why we went there um, is the, these are some really successful Canadian entrepreneurs with a, a, a ton of contacts and, and really in-depth knowledge of, of growing companies. So I think it was a pretty important kind of step in, in our growth mm -hmm, to kind mm -hmm. of go down that road. Where did you get the, uh, first of all, tell us what your, what your business model is. So, uh, so RVZ is your RV sharing marketplace. So really simply put, think Airbnb on wheels. So what we do is we have RV owners that are looking to rent their RV and we hook them up with renters that are looking to rent something. And what makes us kind of different from traditional rental options is mm -hmm. you're renting from a private owner. So there's a very personal connection and transaction that takes place and we provide the insurance, roadside assistance and kind of the security of that transaction. Right. And what that enables is that now RV owners are able to offset costs of ownership and renters get an affordable rental option. Because I would love to rent an RV, don't want to buy one, don't want to buy one. But the idea of not having to make that investment into a vehicle that may or may not be A, expensive to run, B, something that might not be used all that much. But so this is an app where I can find people who own RVs Exactly. That rent them out? Yeah, so our, so our website has RVs located all across the country. And what makes us different from traditional rental options is traditionally you're renting, you know, the, 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 the the cookie cutter RV, right? You get an empty box and you rent it at a very high price per week and that's what you get. What we enable people to do is it's they're all personally owned. So we have everything from the small little tent trailers up to the big luxurious motorhomes and everything in between. Good and what idea. we find is that the owners are, they're leaving their linens, their dishes, their barbecue, their games in the RV. So it's kind of fully equipped mm -hmm, for you. Mm -hmm. We even have owners that throw in a box of wine and, or a bottle <laughs> of wine and a box of beer kind of with each rental. So what made you think of dun, 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 going into that dragon's den where, A, you're put through a brutal process of, of taping the show, which is, uh, you know, an ordeal in itself if you're not used to the whole TV process. But those dragons are called dragons for a reason. <laughs> so what made you take that plunge? So, so we did, uh, you know, we, we did our research as we we're preparing to, to go into the den, uh, you know, and, it, and it's great, great growth and kind of marketing, obviously, for your business. Um, but we've also seen a lot of people get roasted in there. Mm -hmm. uh, so, you know, so it was pretty important for us that, you know, we have a really strong team. We have some, uh, yeah, there's some pictures from the den. So we have a really strong team and we were pretty strong in our financials. We made sure we knew everything. We weren't going in with these crazy valuations. Um, and that really helped us out in the long run that we ended up getting a deal. So you watched... You obviously have watched the show prior to going, prior to going in, so you knew what you were in for. For sure, yeah, and that, that's where we also kind of developed our targets of, you know, which dragons we think would be more interested in our product and which ones we kind of wanted to target. So tell us a little bit about the process when you ended up in studio and, and you're doing this. So it, 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 everything is, uh, you know, it, you're not given much information, right? So we, uh, so we initially did our, our pitch in Ottawa. They had kind of an open casting call, um, and then we were invited to Toronto to film. And uh, so you get there on the day of filming, and you're backstage and you essentially just wait for them to call you into the den. So there's no preparation, uh, you know, the camera's in your face trying to catch yes, your reactions, yes. and uh, they just throw you into the den. You made your presentation, and you got a deal. Not one, but you had three deals on the table, right? From who? Yeah, so that, that was kind of the interesting part of the show that we didn't really prepare for uh, were these multiple offers. Um, so we ended up getting a, a, a deal, an offer from Jim for, for what we went in for, right. which was uh, 150000 for 10% of the company. Okay. Uh, and then we had a deal, a joint deal between Arlene and uh, Michelle for 25%. And then we ended up having a deal with Michelle individually for 17.5%. At 125. At 150 thousand. At 150 thousand. Yeah. So the, really, it it varied anywhere from 10 to 25 yes. percent. So how did you make your decision? I know that a lot of people just make a decision on the spot to take one of those offers and out they go. Others go into that 
dreaded back room where they do their little chats. Sometimes they even call people who are involved in their in their in their company. Um, how did the decision making in terms of which deal you were going to take? How did that come about? So we we really liked uh, a deal with Michelle, right? She's very very successful in the in the tech space. Uh, she's still very young, very gung ho on building her business. Um, and then we've all, but we've also seen on the show many people that walk into that back room. Yes. The deal expires. They lose the yes. deal. Yes. Um, you know, so our goal on the show was to really partner up with Michelle to get a deal with her, and we ended up getting that. So how is the how is the business going? Uh, so everything's going really, really well. It was kind of it's kind of exciting. We had a launch party last week with uh, with the Dragons Den episode airing. Uh, everything's going really well. This year we'll be putting a half million dollars back into our V owners' pockets. Mm -hmm. um, so like that's that that's a really you know, a, a proud moment for me that mm -hmm. we're putting that money back mm -hmm. into the, the economy mm -hmm. um, and allowing vacationers to get something affordable. Mm -hmm. If people are interested in finding out more about your company, they go where? Yeah, so they're going to visit rvz.com, r-v-e-z-y.com, um, and feel free to call us, ask us questions, and it's a five-minute process to get your RV up there. Perfect. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you. you. We're in the kitchen next with Julie Finley. We're going to be cooking. Me and Julie up next. Stay tuned.